In Macon, Georgia, there is a family of four who have been members of Safari Club International since 1994. They are the Childers family, and they include a recipient of this year's Pathfinder Award, 14-year-old Austin Childers. Every day, this exceptional young man must have feeding tubes connected to his body in order to survive. At the age of 12, Austin was diagnosed with mitochondrial disease. Simply put, mitochondrial cells supply the body's major organs with energy. Austin's disease prevents the normal function of these cells, so he needs another source of energy. His veins no longer accept IV needles, so Austin has a permanent feeding tube that must be connected for eight hours every day. Through the course of his illness, he has suffered from severe nausea, extreme pain throughout his body, temperature drops, and leg cramps. But Austin Childers keeps smiling. His pain is overcome by his love of hunting. He has been called the happiest and most fun-loving boy you'll ever meet. On a recent hunt, Mandy and Ray Mursky described him as a very well-mannered and respectful young man who loves to tease and play. John Cade of the White Mountain Apache Indian Reservation recently took Austin on a black bear hunt and said, in 30 years of hunting, I've never seen anyone more excited. He told his hunting story over 50 times. He's the most inspirational and deserving young man I have ever known. Colorado Buck said, this is a kid that knows the true meaning of life and makes me feel guilty for ever complaining and not being satisfied. Austin is now unable to consistently attend public school with his friends. His challenge often sends him to the hospital, where he prefers hunting over cartoons while he struggles to recuperate and rebuild. Austin is the one making sure everyone else is dealing with his family difficulty in a positive way. Austin acts as a buffer and comfort to his younger brother, Garrett. Austin's brother was recently diagnosed with the same devastating genetic illness and will soon need to begin the same treatments he has grown up watching his brother and his hero go through. Even though Austin's illness continues to progress, he has not wavered in his persistent desire to go hunting or fishing. He has faith in God, a wonderful family, and great friends. Every chance Austin has to be outside, you'll find this sparkling young man giving it his all and savoring the moments. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's SEI Pathfinders, John Ramsey and Austin Childers. I want to express my profound gratitude to Safari Club International Foundation for its 2005 Pathfinder Award. I am honored to be one of this year's recipients of the Pathfinder Award. First, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Through the difficulties of my illness, He continues to bless me over and over again. Next, I would like to thank Jean Ruka, Ron and Jackie Bartels, and the Humanitarian Services Committee for awarding me the 2005 Pathfinder Award. Next, I would like to thank John Cade and White Mountain Apache Reservation, Ray and Mandy Mursky and Flint Creek Ranch, Colorado Buck and the Dreamcatcher Ranch, Frank Freshwater and Valley Outdoors, Bucks Forever Ranch in Saskatchewan, Canada, Mark Miller and Out Ultimate Outdoors Publications and Productions, Michael Vaden and Wildlife Artistry. Thank you, for all, thank you for all the wonderful memories and friendships we have made. They will be with me forever. Theodore Roosevelt said in 1895, some people can do better with one rifle and some with another, but in the long run, it is the man behind the gun that counts the most. For me, the man behind the gun that counts the most is Don Corley. Don has been such an encouragement to me and has shown me what it means to be a man with a passion for life. He makes every moment count and makes the most of every situation. There is always a great woman behind every man and that woman, for Don Corley, is Linda Corley. She is the icing on the Corley cake. They are inseparable, and there will never be another couple quite like Don and Linda Corley. Thank you for loving me and my family and opening your hearts to us. I love you both, Aunt Linda and Uncle Don. Dad, 
I want to thank you for introducing me to hunting. Without you dragging me out those cold mornings when I was six, I wouldn't have the appreciation I have today. You taught me that it's not the animal you shoot, it's the memories you make. I want to thank you, Mom, you spending those long days and nights in the hospital, holding my hand, reassuring me everything would be okay, gave me the strength never to give up. To my little brother, Garrett, thanks for always being there for me. It's been di very difficult for you while I've been sick. Thanks for always being supportive of me. I love you, Gary Gary, and I'm thankful you're and I'm thankful and proud you are my little brother. To Honey Buddy and Pop, my grandparents, thanks for all you have done. The times you have spent with me, the special moments together, the trips we have made, the memories we have shared, and and the examples you have been to me. All of you mean so much to me, and I love you. Hunting and spending time outdoors are a great passion of mine, and through this sport. I've been exposed to some of the most incredible hunting adventures. Safari Club International has greatly influenced my family's involvement with hunting. This organization does a great job promoting wildlife conservation and teaching others the true meaning of being outdoors and appreciating God's great creation. God, in the power of his creation, has made a magnificent world, and I'm grateful to God for his creation and my country, which since its foundation has recognized the right of free people and to bear arms. I'm honored to accept the 2005 Safari Club International Pathfinder Award. My life has been forever changed by those closest to me. The supporters of Safari Club International, the hunting community, and all those affiliated with this award. Once again, I'm grateful and humbled to be selected as one of the 2005 Pathfinder recipients. A lot of this cannot happen with the without the people you see on stage here. Let me introduce the escorts. John Ramsey is escorted by Alex Olofsey of Jan Olofsey Hunting Safaris and Thomas Oshenbein of Highveld Taxidermy and Austin Childress is escorted by Con Coetzee in Africa Safaris. And we thank them for all their support every year.